What were your big takeaways from the win for France today? I think Griezmann's goal obviously would be very important for his confidence. There was this line he said to, to the media after the game saying like, well, this coach knows exactly where to play me. And I think, that, of course, that's a dig at Ronald Koeman. That's a, you know, it's a huge critic of Ronald Koeman. And as we've discussed many times on the show of the difference where he plays for France and where, where he plays for, for Barcelona, even, I'm, I'm not even sure the, the position he plays for France is the best one. But anyway, the goal that he scored tonight early on would be a huge boost for him. We saw a very good look at Ding, a left back. Again, I think Adrian Rabio played really well again in this game tonight, like he did against Portugal. And I think if Deschamps continues with his diamond midfield, the, the midfield three, we pretty much know now there will be Pogba, Kante and, and, uh, and Rabio on the left hand side, plus Griezmann as a number 10, and then either Giroud or Martial with Mbappe. So you pretty much know already what the team will be at the Euros, unless Deschamps wants to go three at the back, which is another option. And I think, again, from this international break, we will take away the versatility that Deschamps is trying to get for this team. A plan A could be the 4-4-2 formation that we saw them winning the World Cup with. It could be a three at the back. It could be a diamond midfield. And, and suddenly you went from having just one plan, which was the, that 4-4-2 that being solid, quite conservative, even quite a low block, to being able to play with a plan B, with a plan C, moving players around, changing the system, the formation, and I think that's a very positive thing. What about you, Frank? What were your big takeaways from the win today? Um, the confidence that Griezmann and Pogba uh, would get coming back to their, to their club. I mean, the, the, the goal that uh, Griezmann scored is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and um, hopefully it's going to help him going back to Barcelona to, to fight and get uh, a right spot and uh, get uh, to the fans good, good games. Um, Rabio, I was very pleased to see Rabio at his best, really being the best player in the first half, um, get, getting all the balls and uh, doing uh, every time that he had the ball the, the good decision. Um, I think Lloris as well is a real. Uh, he has a real positive attitude. Make good saves, you know. Always giving the the, the confidence that the, the centre half and the uh, and the defender overall need. Um, it's a good performance for France. It's the first time that, uh, and I agree with Dalic when he said the, the Croatian coach when he said that uh, the two times the last two times that France played against Croatia, Croatia uh, was better than France. Uh, which wasn't the case today. I mean, France had a fantastic first half. It was more complicated in the second half, but uh, they showed how uh, better they are uh, comparing to Croatia and maybe any other team right now in Europe. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.